Hello, I'm Tyler and welcome to Bear Mountain. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own JST SM cables. JST SM connectors come in two, three, four, and five pin versions. I'm going to show you how to make a two pin cable, but the process is the same for the other sizes. Let's get started. I purchased this kit off of Amazon, which I'll link below, that includes a crimping tool, plastic housings, and male and female connectors. We'll also need wire and a flush cut snipping tool. I've prepared some 22 gauge wire off camera for us to use. Each end has been stripped. We'll start with a female connector. Start by taking the ribbon of female connectors and snipping off two. One, two, set that aside. If we look closely at the connector, we can see two sets of tabs and a metal box at the end. These tabs will fold over the insulated part of our wire and the box will press fit against the stripped end of the wire. Let's take the end of our wire and slide it down the channel of the connector until the stripped end reaches the end of the connector. The connector should fit snugly on the end of the wire. Next, we'll take our crimping tool, place the wire and connector in the largest opening, ensuring only the tabs are in the jaws of the crimping tool. If we crimp the end of the connector, it will not fit in the housing. Next, we will snip off the excess metal on the connector by bending it and using our flush cut snipping tool to snip it off. Now that the connector is crimped onto the wire, we can pick up our plastic housing. Notice on the one side of the connector, there are two openings. If we look at the connector, we see a small metal hook on one side. We need to line this hook up with the hole in the housing. Slide the connector into the housing, making sure the hook is facing the right way. Once the hook passes the opening in the housing, it will prevent the connector from sliding out in the future. With this wire done, we can move on to the second wire and we'll repeat the same steps. With the female end complete, we can set that aside and move on to the male connector. So we will take the male connector ribbon and attach two connectors. One, two, set that aside. These connectors are slightly different in that the connectors tabs crimp the stripped end of the wire instead of the insulated part of the wire. We'll take our wire, slide it down the channel of the connector. With our other hand, take the crimping tool, place the connector in the smaller opening. We'll need to make sure we only crimp the tabs of the connector. And you may need to do this more than once. With the connector crimped, we can bend the excess material and then take our snipping tool to remove it. With that removed, we can take our plastic housing for the male connector. And just like with the other connectors, locate the metal hook on the connector and align it with the plastic housings. In this case, the metal hook should be on the same side as the housing's plastic latching mechanism. Take our wire and connector, slide it into the housing. You should hear a distinct click sound indicating it is locked into place. Our first wire is now complete and we can repeat the same steps for the second wire. Our cable is now complete and we can test it by connecting each end together. A small note that during editing, I realized that the wires were swapped and not in the correct position. Uh, but the process is still the same when you make your wire. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time on Bear Mountain.